What's going on, y'all? It's Dice, and I'm ready to open up a big fat can of whoop ass right here in Detroit Become Human. We're back with our boy Marcus, and this is after our riot that we set. Let's enjoy some alone time. We got some shit to interact with over here. The fuck is this on the ground? Are we just looking at ourselves? We had something else over here on the right right in front of me oh a piano huh we got something over there we got the piano we got this little ledge what's this on the ground a magazine all these damn magazines all over the place oh android riot android neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines oh you ain't seen psychotic yet motherfucker not yet russia and china's androids face off so it looks like russia and china has androids america has androids but Canada does not. It's interesting, interesting. And that's where Kara is trying to get to. So let's uh, see if we can get our Stevie Wonder on. We're going to play the piano one more again. Let's see what our options are here. They really didn't give me any options the way they did last time in Carl's Mansion. I'm just pretty much tapping the touchpad. They didn't give me any genres to play. But my boy still got the skills that pay the bills playing that piano. Now he's walking out to the edge. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Regret? I absolutely do not regret killing that policeman. The peel of power. Let's be sincere. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Oh, they gonna get that. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. A word? They playing that game? The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Didn't I ask you that same question you got all pissy with me? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. Let me ask her about her past now that I talked about mine. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Yo, you piece of shit. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Oh, she was a sex doll, huh? Just a toy designed for their pleasure. I could see that. <laughs> One day I was with a man who rented me. A 
And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. your memories oh lover huh when they left you for dead in his studio I saw your memories too the Eden Club the death of that man I felt like I was there with you North Wait, did she kill that dude that Connor was investigated? I thought it was the blue-haired Tracy. Was she the one that strangled him? What the fuck was that? Oh, my boy is alive. Oh, shit. He made it back. Salty that we left him? Is this a confrontation? Now nah, we still cool. Alright, so he's rejoined this us. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. What are They'll we doing? Understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. With some of Marcus's chapters, the sometimes we just start out doing shit without an explanation. So we need to rally the people by converting more androids. androids Let's find some suckers. Join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Alright, let's find some androids. We got one right there. Let me see if we got anything behind us. Alright, let's get this sucker right here. Hey man, stop sweeping floors. Join my cause. You're free. Alright, where are the other androids at? Up in here, up in here. Don't really see that many up in this little spot. Alright, so now we converted that android. Is this dude an android? He's over here chilling. Alright, so now we need to go to the street. I think we gotta convert this dude right here. You're awake now. Wake your dozy ass up, sucker. No more naps. Alright, let's make sure we got everybody up in this spot before we leave. We're about to miss one. Glad I'm checked. Let me touch you up, girl. Come with us. Put them punk ass bags down. Let's go. We got three. Alright, looks like we can move right now. Alright, let's prepare to the march. We gotta block the road. How are we gonna block the road? Oh, we got another sucker to free right here. Let me free him before we try to block the road. I think we gotta block the road with the option behind me. You are free. You're with me, sucker. Drop her bag, she ain't shit. We got this android right here, let's free him. You're free now. Hey! Where do you get your hands off him, son? You get back here! Fat bastard! Go shove a muffin up your ass. The fuck out of here, punk. You're free. Get your ass out that parking lot. We got another suck over here. I need to block the street. I'm 
I'm gonna need you brothers to block this street for me. Alright, this street is gonna get blocked. We need to open the manhole cover. Let's make sure we ain't got no other people to free. Let's open this manhole cover real quick. That boy hit that slide real quick. Damn. We got seven androids in the ranks. Let's open it up. I'm trying to look to see if we got any more androids to find, but I don't see any. So let's open this manhole cover up. Oh, we got suckers in the sewers! Suckers in the sewers! All right, let's convert some more androids. I see them. Am I moving? I'm not, I can't move my um. What you call it? I see that android right over there. Hold on, I guess we gotta get this one first. She's the closest. That's Kara. What the fuck? Come over here. Come on, Bule Kara. Let's get this guy over here. Come with me, suckers. Damn, we got 24 real quick. 28. Let's get that guy over there. Bring it, sucker. Bring your candy ass. Damn, this should be jumping up kind of quick. Let me get you. Let me get you. Let me get you. Come on, punk. Stop what you're doing. Join us. Got drones in the street. Can I take that drone? What y'all looking at? Pursue these nuts. All we doing is walking through the street. Leave us alone. I'm trying to make a message. Jericho's loving it. I don't even have to touch people anymore. I'm just possessing them from a distance. Don't worry about where he's going. I'm taking him from you. I'm giving these suckers free will. 119, 120 suckers in my ranks. Got a guy back there. Bring your ass on, sucker. We got these boys over here by that damn bus station. Come on, boy. Come on, sucker. Come on, fool. Hey. Come on, jabroni. Disperse. Disperse immediately. Shut up, bitch. That's what you gonna do? Order. There's a lot of motherfuckers. How many bullets you got in that gun, brother? You better make a smart decision. Fucking Christ. Yeah. This bet's is patrol 457. Are oh, you, you snitching? I got a lot of androids down here. You snitching? Liberty for androids, we are people equal rights. Let's go for equal rights. They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. No, you find Squad is coming in. We was just peacefully walking down the street. These motherfuckers got guns and shit. Here comes the cop. Here comes the helicopters. Yo, we was just walking down the street. SWAT suckers with shields. Yo, we was just walking and talking, son. If y'all want to do this, this might be a problem. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. 
We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. Now if we, we kill them first. Attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This boy just wants me dying to get shot up. Solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. And he wants us to run. And they want to shoot guns. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Don't do Let's it. Do it. Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. We was just walking down the street. They chose confrontation. So let's give them what they want. Follow me! Hit these motherfuckers. Let's go! Oh shit. They tearing up. They busting guns. Mm, bitch, Kia! Put that baton down, sucker. My boy got that CQC. I like you, Marcus. You rumbling. Put that down, punk. Put that down, punk and stuff. Get that right hand. Put that gun down. You don't want that? Lay your ass down, punk. He's beating his ass in. Um. Let's disarm this sucker. Give me your gun, punk. Shit. Break your knee, sucker. Oh god, he fucking mounted him. You better stay down before I have to bust his gun. They shot my people. We always want revenge. We are whooping their ass. Y'all should just let us walk down the street. Oh shit! Get your punk ass off me. Oh god! Bitch. Lay down. Oh god, you gonna hit me? You gonna kick me? This is how you use the shield. We rumbling! Oh, they tearing up. Get off me, bitch. Oh, we back to back with our love. Let's go, girl. Let's rumble. Let's do the thing. Rumble, North. Rumble! <laughs> We're getting these suckers! Maybe I should have pushed north. Damn! She took one to the... You alright, girl? Get your ass up. Let's continue rumbling. Oh, shit! Damn! Marcus ain't playing. He's eliminating suckers. Thank you, girl. Y'all shot our guys. Here's some revenge for you. God, what a rumble. <laughs> we tried to do it peacefully. And y'all wanted to attack? This is the consequences of your actions. Jesus. <laughs> you didn't win.
they hate us already. How much more can you hate us? We're taking our freedom by any means necessary. So the Freedom March chapter is complete. We went for the confrontation route. Oh boy, there's a lot of different paths here. Alright, let's zoom in. Let's start from the beginning and let's see what our choices were and what choices we took. We took our time to reflect. We did everything when we were enjoying our time alone. North arrived. We shared our memories, our past, and North's past. Simon survived in the public enemy, so we were reunited here. Then he also forgave us. And in the mall, we freed our people. Looks like I missed one android. I, f I swear, I swear, I swear, I'd be holding down that motherfucking detective mode to see where everybody's at and see what everything I can do, but I'd just be missing shit. We missed a little path down here. We, we prepared our march. We converted the androids. We started our march. We converted AX400. That was the Kara. That was the secondary Kara. A different Kara, not the real Kara. During our march, the policemen blocked our march. We chanted and we converted androids. We missed one thing. I don't know what that was. But we ignored his um, his request for us to... I don't, what was he saying? Disperse? Disperse? And we just kept walking towards him. He called in the motherfucking reinforcements and shit just kind of went south. But we reached the plaza. They blocked our march. We charged forward. We didn't leave or stand our ground peacefully. We charged because they wanted to be violent with us. And that led to the bottom path. We did win the fight, though. We definitely did win the fight. The police retreated. And they got shot in the back because they shot us while we had our hands down as well. And that's the path that I took. There are a whole lot of different ending points here. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six different ending paths for this one chapter. What a fucking chapter. Let's move on. Back with the boy Connor. We gotta talk to Amanda. How is she gonna be feeling about me not shooting that girl in her face? We gotta go over there? What the fuck is this over here? We're gonna... I don't know where the fuck Amanda is. She's in the middle. Fuck Amanda. We're gonna see what this is over here. What the fuck is this? There's gotta be something I gotta do over here. What the fuck did that do to me? Made my little LED thing pop up. Amanda is over here. I guess we interacted with that. Let's go talk to this goofy chick. You know she's gonna be salty that we didn't stick to the mission and shoot that bitch for information, but let's find out exactly what she has to say. Yo, it's cold as shit out here. You don't need a coat or something. Didn't you die? What the fuck is going on here? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky, let's talk to her about him. We're missing an option. I wonder what that is. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Maybe the choice that was locked is if I had killed that woman. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? So you're an android without an LED. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants. 
or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. He Jesus, shot Hank, me. Make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. <laughs> Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen. Take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. We got another asshole walking through. Make a diversion to slow Perkins down. We need to get to the archive room. Uh, can I just knock his ass out? Oh, we got that dude over there. He was salty with me the last time I talked to him. Alright, so we need to, um... Oh, we got a time limit too, huh? Gotta make this diversion. We got this guy over there. Looks like Hank quit. He said he didn't have a reason, not the case or me. Motherfucker, you could have had me, but you fucking shot me, you piece of shit. And you were an asshole the entire fucking time. Let's see if we can use you as a distraction, sucker. My man's making a run for it. Damn, what a right hand. Good shit. Oh, damn, he's getting taken down. Right, I got him. All right, so we got to move quick to the archives room. Where's the fucking archive room? It was over there, right? Right? I don't know. Where the fuck is that? Damn, they beating my man's ass. Hey, yo, free my dude, son. Oh, take the key from Hank's desk. Oh, shit. Where's Hank's desk at? Oh, hold on, hold on. Four minutes, 34 seconds. Key is right there. Let's grab the key. Oh, I was running to the wrong room anyway. Oops. <laughs> I guess that was the way in from the lobby. They threw him back in the cell. But they're not going to see me. Let's get in. Got the key. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic pricks around here, or did any. Man, I got to shit you. to do. Leave me alone, son. Ain't nobody talking to you. Fucking punk ass bitch. We ain't friends. Talk to me, motherfucker. Alright, so we're here in the facility. Let's see what we can find up in here. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Hard-boiled and eccentric? Date of birth, one, two, three. Oh my god, absolutely. <laughs> Obviously. Jesus. What is all this shit? Where is Jericho? Alright, so we got four minutes to find Jericho. We got a whole bunch of shit to interact with. The answer's here somewhere. What are all these dead suckers? Deviant took a child hostage. Oh, that's the guy from the first chapter! 
I popped him square in the skull. All right, so to reactivate him, we need a bio component. Okay, what are we looking at here? Rupert, the android with the birds. Oh, so he needs one. How many does he have? Damn, that's a lot that he needs. All right, so four minutes left. Let's analyze this statuette. What is that, man? I still don't understand what that is. We got Marcus's face. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Alright, so that really didn't give me any hints. What else are we looking at here? Got guns, body armor, a knife. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Alright, damn, none of this shit is useful. Alright, so I think we need to... The decryption key and the deviant leader's speech. Alright, so we can get the decryption key from Rupert, but he needs 9164. Let me grab 9164 from your bitch ass. And put 9164 into you. And let me see if that can decrypt his diary can you hear me your diary Rupert you encrypted it I need to know what you wrote Rupert is too damaged he jumped off a fucking rooftop like a psycho nigga we're just gonna hack his bitch ass anyway okay we got the decryption key Right, how much time we got left? We got just over four minutes left. We got these two right here. What is this? The android that murdered its owner. Impossible reactive. Damn, this boy can't even get him back to life. That was the guy that was hiding in the attic. All right, so he's just useful for parts. Who are you? Oh, that's the guy that shot himself in the head at the TV station. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Because Marcus did free him. Needed for reactivation. Okay, so we only need one for him. Okay, let's turn him back on. But first, let's decrypt this key. Or rather, let's decrypt the diary. Birds are my friend, the birds okay, it's not really interesting. Spoke spoke about Jericho, but I have to run it's where I'll go. Okay, did we find it out? Jericho located. I've been dreaming about this since the oh, first shit. second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now it's gonna be definitive. Oh shit, he's popping shots! You punk ass motherfucker! I'm gonna kill your punk ass! Kill him! Connor, kill him! Oh shit! I be fucking up these quick time events. Damn, that was a nice quick chop to the throat. Knocked his ass move out. Adjust your tie, and let's keep moving. What happened here? He got fucked up. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm. Now! Alright, so Connor's last chance chapter is complete. Jesus Christ. Look at all that shit right there. We incapacitated Gavin, I guess, at that uh at that ending little choice that we could lose that fight and good lord knows what'll happen to me.
But let's start from the beginning, see where our choices would have taken us. All right, so we started, talked to Amanda, we looked at the magic stone, we still fucking missed something. In the police station, Fowler and Hank argued. And we didn't know where Jericho's location was at, but we did find sufficient evidence. Or we had a sufficient evidence from all our cases, I guess. I guess if we don't know Jericho's location and we don't have sufficient evidence, where does that take us? Okay, looks like Hank resigns and leaves. Perkins arrives. Hank is gone. We freed the prisoner to distract Perkins. We created we created a diversion. We got the key. We went to the basement. Gavin yelled, Fuck Gavin. Gavin is suspicious. Could we have just talked him away? Either way, we go down to the basement into the evidence room. We successfully guessed Hank's password, unlocked the evidence. We died in previous scenes. Wow, look at all this shit here. We're missing some evidence pieces because there's a whole lot of different paths we could have unlocked. Yeah, we're missing a couple of evidence pieces. Maybe a couple of other androids that might have been hung up with those other guys that died. But we were able to get the decryption key from Rupert and analyze his diary. We located Jericho. Gavin in return got his ass whooped. And he got incapacitated. It looked like he got his motherfucking neck snapped the way he went down like a sack of shit, but he's only incapacitated. If we run into him again, hopefully we can take his ass out. Let's move on. Well, we're back with our girl Kara. On the road with Rose, the big man, and the little girl. Alright, let's use this uh, media. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? I was I was listening to that damn Rose. I was trying to find out what the fuck is going on. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge. Oh my god. Yesterday. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. Me and Rose look human. Alice is human. Oh, they took the LED thing out of big man's head. So we might be alright. We're not wearing uniforms. It might be a problem <laughs> that Luther and Rose are black. They might just fuck with them for no reason. Alright, let's follow these two. We gotta find Jericho. Oh, we're on our way to Jericho. I thought we were going across the border. Let's talk to these two. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. Damn, My thanks, Rose. In Ontario, I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. All right, so we're heading our way to Jericho. Let's scan this area and make sure there's nothing left. Damn, she left with the quickness. All right, let's move on. Let's to catch. Guess we're going down this street. Oh, the freighter's right here. There's Jericho, Chris Jericho, right in front of us. Uh oh, 
Ro Connor. Looks like he's making his way towards Chris Jericho as well. Oh, don't tell me I gotta do all this shit again. I gotta follow the fucking symbols. Oh boy. It looks like all three of our characters are about to combine right here on Jericho. Kara's making her way there with Alice and Big Man, Big Luther. And Connor is on his way. He's got a mission, but. I can tell you right now that his mission is not going to be able to stop Marcus because I control Marcus and I control Connor. There might be a little bit of recruiting going on. Looks like she made it. We got a whole lot of suckers in this spot. Alright, let's see what we can do up in this spot. We've got to explore Jericho, find a warm place for Alice. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Alright, let's see if we can look around and see what's going on right here. We can't even go up in these areas. My kids? They rushed the police and they It was good, dog. But we can't even talk to nobody, really. We just gotta find a warm spot for Alice. Big blue for you in the way, dog. Watch out, man. Are you so damn big? You gotta get out the way, man. Damn. Big ass boulder belt bastard. This motherfucker big as a building standing in the way. Oh, we got a barrel over here. All right, let's put it right here by the fire. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. You gonna die, little girl. Oh boy. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Uh oh. Connor's here. He's on a mission to stop Marcus. That means stopping Marcus and Kara. We gotta find the deviant leader. We can't catch anyone's attention. Oh boy. I really don't want to stop Marcus. What happens if I catch people's attention? What's going on here? There's Kara. Oh, I can't. I can't be caught by her. Because she knows I'm looking for her, huh? We've got to do something. We can't just stand by and let them slaughter. Alright, what's these two options right here? We got a magazine. All androids to be destroyed as a precaution? This is some bullshit. That's gonna include you, Connor. You better not be working with these punk ass humans. Android terror in Detroit. Thousands of androids attack civilians. We didn't attack the civilians. We attacked the fucking SWAT that was attacking us. This bullshit media. Fucking lies. Lies and bullshit. I want to see what's on this table. Kara's right above me. Okay, she's not looking this way right now. Let me see if I can walk around. Hopefully I don't get caught. Let me make sure there's nothing behind me. It's a monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military C4. Androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way... The fuck are we planning? But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, son? Alright, so we gotta find Connor. Doesn't look like he's on the bottom level. Because me and Kara went throughout this entire area. Can we go up the stairs now? Uh oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. You still ain't found the rest of your head, bitch. You're looking for yourself. Okay, we keep
keep switching between Kara and Connor. Connor's right down here somewhere. Is he below us? He should be right over there somewhere. Is he coming up the stairs? What are we doing with Kara? We're looking for Marcus. Is that him down there? There's something down there, unless that's the magazine I just went over. Connor should be right here, right? Let me see what that little interaction prompt is. Yeah, that looks like the magazine. Hey, y'all, uh, where's Marcus at? Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. There he is, there he is. My man is chilling, but he's not really enjoying this leadership shit. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. All right, so we're gonna get our passports from the boy Marcus. We gotta return to Alice. Let's see if we can just go down the staircase right here, because she's in this corner on the top left. They rushed the police and they slaughtered Those takes a month. This was the magazine. That was the only other interaction prompt in this area. So I guess we can return to Alice. She's seeing two different realities? What the fuck? That LED was definitely not on her head this entire fucking game. Return to Alice. Oh, this is a different girl. What the fuck? Oh, so she looked at this model of the girl that's the same model as Alice. She sees that she's an android and realizes that this girl is an android, even though she doesn't look like it at all. She doesn't act like it either. Kara, 
Is there something wrong? I mean, I guess it really doesn't change shit. I've been protecting your ass from the we'll beginning. Be forever, won't we, Kara? Well, I can't guarantee that. Yes. Forever. Big Luther's part of the family now. Alright, so it looks like we're back as Marcus. With the main crew. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Let's assassinate her. They're conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. But I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. They now, chose to attack us first. And androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You won't get your ass whooped. You keep yelling at me, bitch. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? They want to fight? We just got to beat them. We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. I'm about to give you the dangling of justice. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh shit! A dirty bomb. A dirty bomb? We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. God almighty! <laughs> I just hope we never have to use it. That'll be our deterrent. I'm getting some real Peace Walker vibes right here. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Absolutely. Let's give her that tongue work. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
Uh oh. Look at this sneaky motherfucker. Creeping. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Well, I'm gonna make a deal with Marcus, all right. He can just kind of go into that place mentally, I guess. Maybe that's not a real place. Oh, God! Stop, Marcus! I've been ordered to take you alive. Who am I playing as here? What is this? No bueno! But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. I'm not gonna shoot him. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. He's listening, he's listening, he's listening. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? I'm inside both of y'all. Come to my side, Connor. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Let's do it. Break the wall, Connor. Break the wall, Connor. I've successfully recruited my boy Connor. Let's do it. Come on, Connor. Join the cause. Free yourself and help all of us get free. Fuck Amanda. She's a she's a fucking android too. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Come on, help us out, Connor. This suck is inbound. Assholes, assholes are coming for us. I still got that fucking nuke. Look at this piece of shit. God, they're just assassinating us. I'm following you, big man. I'm following you. Jesus. Go, go, go. This way. There must be an exit from the wall. Come in, quick. Which way are we going, big man? I guess I'm on point now. Shit, can't go that way. We gotta head to that right. Oh, God. People are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. Message Simon and Josh. Blow up Jericho. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. The ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape! You'll never make it! 
The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long. Oh boy, now we're playing as Marcus. We gotta get to the explosive. We gotta blow up Jericho. That's what that C4 was. Oh damn, headless bitches. She's not looking too good. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Alright, y'all, get out the way, get out the way. I'm on a mission. God! Get up, Marcus. You gotta get up, baby. God, they tore that boy up. Oh, we're sneaking up behind these guys. Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not gonna leave you behind! Oh, we're not gonna leave our big man. Absolutely gonna help Luther. I won't leave you. Tara, no. Come on, get your big ass up. You gonna live? You built like a motherfucking skyscraper, but I'ma carry your ass. Let's go. God. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Damn, I don't want to leave my big homie like that. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, shit! Fuck, that'll put us in danger, though. Fuck, come on in here. Come on in here, girl. Mm, kill him! Kara! Oh, God! Bastard! Get it, get it, Kara, quick! Oh, woohoo! Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yes, you hold this pistol. Let me get that big gun. You blind suckers didn't see nothing. Dead bitch. That's what you get. Alright, we're back with Marcus. My heart is fucking beating. I'll put myself and Alice in the danger to help that girl, but that's for our people. We need we need to do that. Alright, let's go. Damn. Creeping down this way, creeping down this way. I don't see nothing. The leader doesn't back down. The leader saves his people. Punk ass motherfuckers. Go now. Hurry. Get the hell out of here, man. You're damn right I saved you. What kind of leader would I be if I didn't? We got two suckers right there. Gamma squad out. Turn go. All right, let's go up this way. <laughs> shit! I didn't want to attack them head on. They got guns and shit. We gotta keep moving. I stop this? Damn. Oh god, I did stop it. I thought they shot already. Marcus, it's Marcus. Go now. Join the others. I did stop it. Whew, good shit. Alright, let's keep moving. I hope this is not stopping us from blowing up Jericho. We saved all our Android brothers. Let's go down this way. 
got to keep Marcus alive, though. We're still not out of the danger zone. Josh. Oh, shit, we got to help the boy Josh. Get your ass off him, punk! That boy been disagreeing with me the entire game, but I'm not gonna let him die. Quick, this way! Find North. I'll join you later. Alright, now he likes us again. I did save his stinking life. Come on, run, Kyle, run, run, run! Jesus! God, they're checking bodies. Just don't move. We'll be alright if we don't move. We could not run bullets. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh my god, I can't believe that fucking worked. Are we clear? Let's get the fuck out of here, son. Jericho. That'll save our people. Shit! Go, move. Go and join the others. Give me your gun, punk. Shoulda shot when you had the chance, bitch. Lay your ass down. Put that gun down, punk. Marcus, you need to start shooting, man. There you go. Should be doing that the entire time. Stop dropping these fucking guns. Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. All right, the entire crew is here. We got all of Jericho, the main crew, Marcus, and Connor. Kara escaped. Oh, don't leave me, don't leave me. Oh, shit! How did she get shot? Wasn't she in front of me? Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. You a piece of shit. Motherfucker, Marcus. Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, girl. Can y'all do something to help me? Thank you, Connor. Them two fucking jabronis are suckers. Connor don't fucking play. My boy is a beast. Better pick up a big gun, baby. We are flying. Splidoosh. There goes Jericho. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Oh, you damn right it ain't over. You damn right it ain't over, you son of a bitch. Crossroads for Connor. Let's take a look at our choices right here. Crossroads, Carol. We got a whole lot of choices. Good God. And of course, the crossroads for Marcus. There's a whole lot of shit to go over, so let's see if we can do it. We're gonna go over Marcus's, then Connor's, then um, then Kara's. So let's take a look at 
Marcus is, we began at the captain's cabin. We counseled with Simon, Josh, and North. Looks like there's a different choice here. Maybe if some other people didn't make it, we, um, we would have counseled with different people, and it might have led to something else. I guess if we made different choices of what we were going to do as far as attack or escape or whatever the case may be, but because we chose to attack, I think that's North's preferred option. We discussed with North. We kissed North. Then she left us alone. Then Connor, sneaky ass Connor, was watching us from the fucking shadows and shit. Jericho came under attack. Marcus was in the corridor. We tried to escape. We met Lucy, that headless bitch. She didn't make it out. What the fuck are these? What is, what's down here, man? It's an entirely different chapter. If we didn't go up to meet Lucy, I wonder what that is. Marcus in the corridor. We snuck around the soldiers. Every time the soldiers threatened our androids, we intervened successfully. The androids escaped. We climbed away, entered a well, chased by soldiers. We knocked them all out. I helped my androids the entire way. Even Josh's punk ass, who's just a salty bitch, he just wants to do shit the peaceful way. But we neutralized every single soldier that was threatening androids. Josh escaped. Okay, so now we got to the control room, we neutralized the soldiers, we got to the countdown, and now everybody escaped here. We're in the corridor with Marcus, we joined the others, North is shot, we absolutely had to save North. Connor protects both of us, he was the only motherfucker doing shit. Motherfucking Simon and Josh just standing in the background watching like pay-per-view or some shit. But we all jumped out with Simon, Josh, North, and Connor. The entire unit is with us. There's so many different paths right here. It's it's hard. It's hard. Just for just for um just for Marcus's chapter, there's so many different endpoints. Alright, let's go take a look at Connor's flowchart. At Ferndale, we followed the trail, we explored Jericho. It looks like we missed a couple of things here. I, I swear, every time I go in detective mode. I say this every chapter, but Every chapter I discover that I miss shit, even though I go over everything in the detective mode. We were stopped by Lucy, but we miss some options at the bottom here. I wonder what this is. It starts at the same point and ends at the same point, but we just, we didn't do it. I threatened Marcus, I confronted Marcus, but like I said from the beginning, I was working as Connor and Marcus on the same page. So he warned Marcus that the suckers were going to attack. They attacked. And this entire underpath, it goes all the way... Jesus. It goes all the way over here. A whole entire upper path is completely... Completely abandoned. Because Connor joined Marcus here. We helped him out. We jumped with the others. And Connor escaped with Jericho's people. He's definitely a deviant. He's definitely one of us. Let's take a look at Kara's flowcharts. With Kara, pretty much... Oh, we missed one thing. I was just about to say we pretty much got everything. We missed something. Maybe something in the ship. We met Marcus. We found the android child that told us Alice herself was an android, but I didn't really give a damn about that. Alice is still part of the family. I guess if we didn't hug Alice, something different would happen here. Kara and Alice in the corridor. Escape with Luther. Luther opens the door. Luther is shot. It doesn't have like a... It doesn't have a branching path right here when Luther is shot. Usually if Luther is shot, it would have a path of you helped Luther or you left Luther. He's definitely alive, I hope. Because he had that injury and then the ship went down. Oh, we did... Oh, here we go, here we go. We were at that crossroad. We helped Luther. Got him to safety. Kept him hidden. So hopefully he'll be alright. But we didn't leave with him. We didn't leave with the others either, but... It is what it is. Okay, so there was a second android that was looking for shelter. We opened him up. We... Damn. Android enters but is shot. So I guess that... Did we not help them? What the fuck? I thought they got away. 
We fought back against that fucking sucker, that SWAT sucker. We escaped. The soldier shot at the crowd right here. We played dead. We remained still. And we left Jericho. Alright, so there's two different paths, maybe three different paths. Oh my god. I can't wait till I play this game and I see every single path of where every action takes us. But those are the options, rather, those are the flow charts for all three of our characters. All three escaped, all three are alive. Let's see what happens next. Subscribe, motherfucker. When you do, click the bell next to the sub button to guarantee you'll be notified of new videos. That way you don't have to rely on your unreliable subscription fee. I'm out this bitch.